Coming live from the command center of the JW Solar USA. JW Solar USA is doing an experimental test here. Since we started putting all these um, devices together, we want to make sure that the breaker is working. And we're trying to do some suicide connections here, which right there, I don't want to be showing you all that. So uh, it's too risky. So these are the battery voltage right now. So we took the, uh, the, um, the solar panels from this guy, which is just uh, uh, little panels out there I see on my porch. And also disconnected these ones here from the um, portable generator and using some, some clips. Get into this, the negative and the positive here that drives all the way back here to the batteries which is this guy here, this wire, comes to this breaker, okay? That's a 63 amp, and this is just a 20 amp breaker. Hold on, let me see. Yeah, 63 and 25, right there. So that's a solar. So um, we disconnected this guy from the kid and see what the grown-ups can do since he is just a kid and we want to make sure that cover this one up here uh, something fall in there so that's just the kid and here is the grown-up man right here which is a midnight classic 150 and let's see combine the little panels here the sitting on the, on the shade and we are producing 59, that was like 60 something ish power earlier. So I double up, increase the um, the amperage, uh, the voltage, sorry. So you see there is no shunt or West Bank Junior connected here. So it doesn't know what is um, the state of charge. That's why you heard that beep. That was a surge that happened um reverse polarity but this guy is so powerful that it kicks this battery off because since i'm trying to do my suicide connections here which i don't want you guys to to see and um it kicks this breaker off so now it's a good test because that tell me this breaker can trip if it's a reverse polarity it trips right up boom gone so this is just the whiz bank junior part and I say it's a 400 um, amp hours on the battery, which um, we haven't got that set up. And we don't have any Whisk Bank Junior onto this. This is a default set setting. Okay. So you have to have it on 25 degrees C for the batteries. It depends your battery specifications that you can set up whatever you want. And now the temperature coefficient. Or temperature compensation. See, 25 degrees C, difference. So you can set up whatever you want to do for compensate the, uh, the, the temperature. But it, I don't have any temperature sensor um, in this guy at all. So, so we are putting four amps earlier. So just two small panels to run this guy charge. But they are not sitting on the, uh, I have the outback sitting here. And uh, I got a box right here, guys. Okay, that's another addition in, to the mix. And we got a box right here. I had a 150 amp breaker. So three of them, this one is out. This is not part of this, but I want to say maybe I can throw solar here. And this is going to be the battery disconnect. Well, I'm just building something. I don't know. I already got the knockouts already out. So I just have to put a strain relief, which is um, like these guys here. Okay. So that's what I'm doing. I'm just trying to save this other breaker in here. I can do different strings of um, um, uh, solar into this guy. So big baby box. It has two boss bars in the ground and the neutral and I uh, just threw this breaker in there so since I got some new breakers that came in 
and those are the breakers so double double throw triple throw breaker which is this guy if i can do that okay see and it's just another breaker i just put in there to keep whatever i was gonna try to do but guys so far so good like i said i trip um the breaker trip because a reverse polarity happened and um that's why my battery monitor that's why energy is acting up because of the trip since we're running lithium ion phosphate batteries here it has um built-in bms on them it's kind of like that surge happened it triggers the entire um battery thin monitor and now we lost the state of charge and we were depleting the batteries we we were just sitting at the same 14.6 uh, 14.7 so now we lost the state of charge and um whatever the records have gone so now i have to charge these batteries all the way to the top then after that i reset the meter again that's one of the things <clears throat> i don't like about this um renergy you're always going to set this thing after you already charge them. You push the button up, the arrow up. Then you can set it and say that's 100%. Or if you push the bottom arrow, you hold it for 30 seconds. The reverse, like the same thing as the um, charge and reverse. The reverse, you can just hold the button or the arrow down there. For 30 seconds, it's going to zero, zero out. If that's how you want to start your batteries, by saying... At 14.6, your batteries are empty. Then now you can start charging the batteries all the way top. Then you call it a full. Anytime you get to 14.6, it says your battery already depleted. Okay? Or you can still set the parameters on the meter. But I don't want 14.6 to be my lowest whatever. So I already got a setting there. If I can just get back to this, I can show you. But... um. I don't know what I said for it any anyway trying to remember so press and hold 14 1 so it's very close to the 14 threshold it's gonna alarm supposed to allow at 14 and now is 14 1 supposed to be low so we we are close but uh, kind of a little bit far away so we're 14 14 6 so that's what is going on with all the beeping stuff. I said the alarm. Okay. I can subscribe. JW Solo USA. Uh, it's just a test. I want to make sure that whatever we're doing is working. So I threw the voltage. The two small panels I have there. I series it. Um, and uh, this is what we end up coming with. It's sitting outside in the shade. These are the little panels I was talking about. You see the other side over there is shaded. Over there is shaded. And that's what I'm talking about. So connecting these small 80 watt solar panels. Um, and, uh, and that's what is giving us this kind of power right now. Because uh, it's not an ideal thing. I just put it right there. It's a temporal thing. And you see what I did. So see that big shade on the other side right there. So that's why. What uh, pretty soon is just uh, about to be noon. And the sun is coming. Now it's already took over. The one panel is, uh, is all full snow. Uh, sorry, full covered. And it's going to go all the way. And that shade is out. Then we can have a full sun on those um two panels that's what i'm testing here i use that to trickle charge the stuff and now you can see we started switching to 60 watts as the sun is growing and amps are started coming 4.1 okay so those two panels were the one doing the trick one for the generator um that guy right there and the other one is for this guy right here okay now I combine them together. This is the power they're giving us. The volt in, you can see that. And uh, the watt is coming up 
slowly because of the um the sun didn't come out today early and there was snow on those panels and um, my sliding door was frozen shut so i have to because of um the cold and i have to go back and get it ready and slide it off and go brush off the panels so that's why i have those two panels up on this one the ones on the roof this stays there i don't care because if we don't have enough power we can just uh, switch and go back to the grid and charge the batteries well so far so good this is the small system that is running right now in the house just winter time is really hard when you have panels on the roof it's really hard to take care of as you can see uh, my neighbors over there see that roof is covered with all snow and that's exactly what is on my um, roof so I don't just even bother when the sun is really intense gonna start melting and the panels started dropping all the um, the uh, the snow for the command center so so far so good and this is what we're dealing with right now right here the command center of the JW Solar USA thanks for watching like and subscribe